Welcome to Free, Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine and today we're going to review some vocabulary words related to nature that you can find a lot in Tolkien's books. You don't have to be a Tolkien fan to watch this video. Tolkien loves nature and there are many words related to nature in his books. Now we're going to see only 10 of them. Tolkien loves mountains. So the first words we're going to see are related to that. Mountains, mount, peak, hill, cliff. And he also loves trees. Tree is a word he uses a lot, along with forest, root, and many different kinds of trees that are familiar to English speakers, like cedar, pine, willow, oak. I don't know if those were 10 words, but those are the words we're going to review. Okay then, we're gonna check very quickly these words. I told you that Tolkien loves mountains. So here we have this word mountain. Well, that you can pronounce differently. Like here, they pronounce it British English like mountain. Mountain. Or it can be mountain more I heard it basically. Mountain. Well, that's a very southern accent, but you get it. The two are fine. How do you spell this word? M O U N T A I N. M O U N T A I N. Mountain. It's a natural high piece of land rising more or less quickly to a high point. Well, it's a mountain. Um, there are synonyms. To it, we have mount, peak, alp, summit, mountain top, elevation, and hill. They're basically the same. A hill's definitely a small mountain. We also mentioned cliff. Let's listen to the pronunciation. Cliff. It's a high, steep rock face. It's a precipice. That is what a cliff is. How do you spell it? C-L-I-F-F. -F. So when I was looking at these definitions and these words, I thought of doing what I usually do with my students, you know, checking Google images, because an image is worth more than a thousand words. So if we go to Google Images Mountain, this is what we're gonna get. Lots of mountains, right? If we go to Google Images Cliff, you will get a better idea of a cliff is than the definition of a dictionary. So here we have these amazing cliffs. Oh, look at this, a cliff house. Then I told you that Tolkien also likes trees. I'm not gonna go to the dictionary to tell you what a tree is. You know what a tree is, but maybe we could go here to look at the parts of the tree. Um, for example, the basic ones, like in this picture, the fruit is part of the tree, but more importantly, probably the roots are part of the tree. Roots, R-O-O-T-S, the trunk, T-R-U-N-K, the branches of the tree, B-R-A-N-C-H, the leaves, L-E-A-V-E-S, plural, and of course, there will be flowers and fruit. Flower will be F-O-W-E-R and fruit F-R-U-I-T. So if you're interested in more details, you can go here. Okay, and if we look uh, for the most common types of trees, we'll get the typical shape of these trees. For example, the pine that we use a lot for its wood, also, you know, for cleaning products, they have the pine smell. This is the pine. Uh, we have the cedar. Cedar is like more fluffy, different type of tree. Another typical common type of tree is the oak. We get wood from this tree too, the oak. Then we have the fir. It's another 
type of tree. You see? The chestnut tree. The ash tree. This is a bigger tree. Pine, P I N E, cedar, C E D A R, oak, O A K, fir, F I R, chestnut, C H E S T N U T, ash, A S H. So I'm going to read one part of the Lord of the Rings so you can see how he uses the words in one particular scene that you will find in the movie The Lord of the Rings. It's in the two towers when the ants meet. They meet for the ant moon. It's a gathering of the ants. It's the chapter tree bird in The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Several ants had already arrived. More were coming in down the other paths, and some were now following Trevert. As they drew near, the hobbits gazed at them. They had expected to see a number of creatures as much like Trevert as one hobbit is like another, at any rate to a stranger's eye. And they were very much surprised to see nothing of the kind. The ants were as different from one another as trees from trees. Some as different as one tree is from another of the same name, but quite different growth and history, and some as different as one tree kind from another, as birch from beech, oak from fir. There were a few older ants, bearded and gnarled, like hale but ancient trees. At first, Mary and Pippin were struck chiefly by the variety that they saw, the many shapes and colors, the difference in girth and height, and length of length and arm, and in the number of toes and fingers, anything from three to nine. A few seemed more or less related to tree bird, and reminded them of beech trees or oaks, but there were other kinds. Some recalled the chestnut, brown skin ends with large splay finger hands and short thick legs. Some recalled the ash, and something. Thank you for watching. Please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon.